So we're gonna see right now how to test all types of MOSFET and we will begin with the MOSFET with 8 pins as you can see okay we have 8 leads or pins MOSFET we have here U basically U is the reference for the MOSFET you can find also Q so Q or U is the reference for the MOSFET in every motherboard so here as you can see we have this dot or notch means the pin number one and here we have a white mark means this is the pin number one and here we have the source as you can see these three pins are source connected together okay here we have the gate and this is the drain so these four pins are drain as you can see so let's check the three pins these three pins should be connected together so let's check the first pin with the second we have a low resistance in the multimeter means connected let's check the third one so the three pins are, are connected together in accordance with the multimeter so let's check these four pins also this is the drain the first pin and the second we have zero ohm in the multimeter the third one we have zero ohm means connected the fourth one zero ohm so the four pins are connected together okay drain source as you can see so the same working principle for the second mosfet so we have the dot means this is the pin number one okay two three four and here we have drain as you can see the same also for the third mosfet so let's check this mosfet for example Let's check between drain and source. We have a reading, as you can see, means this is NPN channel because we put the read probe in the source. So if we switch the probes, we should not get any reading because this is NPN channel. As you can see in the multimeter, we have one, no reading. This is NPN channel. So for the in pin channel you will get a reading when you put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain here between source and gate no reading and between drain and gate no reading means this mosfet is a good mosfet so basically you will find just a reading between source and drain for all kind of mosfets the reading should be between drain and source so let's check the this mosfet also as you can see so he, here we have no reading let's switch the probes here we have a reading okay means this is npn channel because oh, we get a reading when we put the read probe in the, in the source so between gate and source no reading and between gate and drain no reading means also this is a good MOSFET if you get a buzzer or a continuity a low resistance in the multimeter means the MOSFET is bad okay so let's check this kind also of MOSFET with four pins basically this is a three pin MOSFET but two pins are connected together here we have the gate this is the drain connected to this terminal also okay and here we have the source so let's check the continuity of these two pins we have low resistance in the multimeter means connected together the drain okay so let's check between drain and source we have a ready means this is NPN MOSFET so if we switch the probes no reading means this is a good MOSFET let's check this MOSFET also we have gate drain okay and source so let's check between source and drain we have reading this is pnp mosfet if we switch the probes no reading okay no reading because this is a pnp channel mosfet so these two mosfets are good let's check another type of mosfet as you can see here we find this kind of mosfet also in the computer motherboard this is a three mosfet terminal we have gate drain as you can see two terminals for drain and this is the source using the same working principle 
here we should get a continuity as you can see in the multimeter we have a low resistance so let's test between drain and source we get a reading in the multimeter if we switch the props we should not get a reading no reading means this is a serviceable mosfet let's check this mosfet also so I show you many kind of MOSFETs in order to go deeper into understanding how to test MOSFETs. So the same working principle, we have drain, source and gate. Let's check between source and drain. No reading means this is NPN MOSFET. Okay, because for the NPN MOSFET, we get a reading when you, we put the red probe in the source and do black probe in the drain. And for the PNP, the inverse. So this is a good MOSFET. So let's check this MOSFETs also. This is a flat MOSFET, 8-pin flat MOSFET. For this kind of MOSFET, it contains 3 pins for source and 4 pins for drain. So we sh you should always locate the first pin, the dot or the not. So this is the first pin, the second and the third. This is source. The 3 pins are source. And we have the gate here and drain these four pins are connected together this is drain okay if we check these four pins we should get a low resistance in the multimeter as you can see zero ohm and zero ohm here means all pins are connected together so let's check between drain and source we should get a reading between drain and source so let's check. Does this mean this is a shorter circuit? Because we get low resistance. No. Because this MOSFET is near to the processor means this is normal. So the resistance is for the processor. Okay, it's not for the MOSFET. We should remove the processor and then test the MOSFET again. So let's unscrew the processor. So let's remove the processor right now so now the processor is removed from the motherboard so let's check right now the MOSFETs we should get a correct reading as you can see here correct reading for this MOSFET so we will get a correct reading as you can see the multimeter 388 so if I switch the probes we should not get any reading so correct so the mosfet is serviceable is good no short in the mosfet okay so but if we put back the cpu or the processor we will get a low resistance because the resistance is for the cpu not for the mosfet because all mosfets around the cpu are connected to the cpu so now we put back the cpu let's check again the MOSFET between source and drain as you can see in the multimeter 0 to 34 ohms means this is not short no this is the CPU resistance okay so to check this kind of MOSFETs around the CPU you should remove the CPU to be sure here we have other kind of MOSFETs this is a tree lead MOSFETs this is basically a small MOSFET that we're gonna check right now here we have the gate so the drain and the source okay the same working principle we have gate drain and source okay so let's check it out let's check between source and drain using the same working principle we should get a ready in the multimeter here we have no ready so Let's switch the props so we get a reading. Means this is a good MOSFET. Okay? But if we check between drain and gate, no reading. And between gate and source, we should get no reading. Okay? Because for the MOSFET, you have to get a reading just between source and drain. Okay? So let's check this MOSFET also using the same working principle so between source and drain we have a reading in the multimeter so 
If we switch the probes, we should not get any ready. This is good. This is a good MOSFET. If you get a reading in both sides or you get a buzzer or a beeping, means the MOSFET is bad. You should replace it. As you can see, no reading between gate and drain and also between gate and source. It means these two MOSFETs are good MOSFETs.